I guess it's just given everything that's happened leading up to the in this presidential campaign so far, it's just quite a dramatic. I mean, a dramatic statement to make. You know, given what we've seen so far. I mean, the the a dramatic statement for me to make. Well, just yes. I mean, it, I guess. But there wasn't any, I mean. So this is what I'm glad of. This is what I am very glad of. I know that, that the, the presence that we had uh, at the rally with deputies, with snipers, with counter snipers, and Secret Service snipers and counter snipers, I am glad that we're not talking about this after we shot him. We get to talk about it before. And no matter what, it's all going to be speculation about what his intentions were getting there. What we do know is he showed up with multiple passports with different names, an unregistered vehicle with fake license plate, and loaded firearms. I, I, if you're asking me right now, I probably did have deputies that prevented the third assassination attempt. It, if, if, if we are that politically lost, that we have lost sight of common sense and reality and reason, that we can't say that, holy crap, what did he show up with all of that stuff for and loaded guns, and we're going to, and, we're, and I'm going to be accused of being dramatic? We have a serious, serious problem in this country because this is common sense and reason. I, I, I saw some of you there yesterday. You didn't have guns and fake IDs. I don't know, I don't know how else to explain it. 